This video will cover questions relating the topic of basic trigonometry integrals and shortcut part 4. We learned about these formulas in part 3. Now, let's learn the last two basic integral formulas for trigonometric functions. Since secant x cannot be obtained by differentiating any trigonometric functions, students naturally think that the substitution method is used. So, you could rewrite this integral as 1 over cosine x dx. If u is cosine x, there is no du. So, u substitution is not available right now. So, equals the integral of secant x means secant x over 1. We have to multiply secant x by secant x plus tangent x over secant x plus tangent x dx. Then expand integral of secant squared x plus secant x tangent x over secant x plus tangent x dx. Now we can do u substitution. Let u equal secant x plus tangent x. Then derive on each side. du equals secant prime is secant x tangent x plus tangent x prime means secant squared x. Then dx equals integral of this part is the numerator. 1 over this part is u du. Then integrate at an absolute value of u plus c. At an absolute value of u was secant x plus tangent x plus c. Question 2. Use u substitution. Let u equal 3x plus 2. Then derive on each side, du equals 3 dx. Then divide by 3 on each side, du over 3 equals dx. Then back to the original integral of secant. 3x plus 2 is u. dx means du over 3. So 1 over 3 du equals Use the formula 1 over 3 and an absolute value of secant u plus tangent u plus c equals 1 over 3 and an absolute value of secant u was 3x plus 2 plus tangent u was 3x plus 2 plus c. Let's compare it with the formula. The first one is 1 over 3 and an absolute value of secant 3x plus 2 plus tangent 3x plus 2 plus c. 3 makes 1 over 3. Then second one is 1 over 5. 5 makes 1 over 5. And an absolute value of secant 5x plus tangent 5x plus c. Now we have a shortcut. k makes 1 over k. And an absolute value of secant kx plus tangent kx plus c. Let's try to integrate a few more questions. k makes 1 over k. k means k over 1. So flip the number k over 1 to make 1 over k. So in here, k is 1 over 2. Then flip the number equals 2. And an absolute value of secant x over 2 plus tangent 
x over 2 plus the c. The last one, k is minus 1, so 1 over minus 1. And then, secant minus x plus tangent minus x plus c. We can read it as minus and then absolute value of secant minus x plus tangent minus x plus c. Question 3. This integral is similar to the integral of secant x equals integral of we have to multiply cosecant x over 1 by cosecant x plus cotangent x over cosecant x plus cotangent x dx. Then expand integral of cosecant squared x plus cosecant x cotangent x over cosecant x plus cotangent x dx. Now we can do u substitution. Let u equal cosecant x plus cotangent x. Then drive on each side. du equals minus cosecant x cotangent x. Then the derivative of cotangent x is minus cosecant squared x dx. We can rewrite as du equals take out minus sign cosecant x cotangent x plus cosecant squared x dx. Then minus on each side minus du equals cosecant x cotangent x plus cosecant squared x then dx. Back to the original the integral of this part is the numerator so minus du then 1 over this part is u then integrate and then absolute value of u plus c minus ln absolute value of u was cosecant x plus cotangent x plus c. Now we have a formula. Use the logarithmic property. This minus sign goes up to the exponent part. So cosecant x plus cotangent x to the power of minus 1, that means 1 over cosecant x plus cotangent x times cosecant x minus cotangent x over cosecant x minus cotangent x equals cosecant x minus cotangent x over a part plus b part, a part minus b part. That means a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. So cosecant squared x minus cotangent squared x. Use the trig identity sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1 then divide by sine squared on each side the first one is 1 plus second one is cotangent squared x equals cosecant squared x then move this part to the right then 1 equals cosecant squared x minus cotangent squared x. That means this part equals 1. So answer is cosecant x minus cotangent x. Then back to the original. 
This means the same as ln absolute value of cosecant x minus cotangent x plus c. Question 4. Use u substitution. Let u equal 2x plus pi over 3. Then drive on each side. du equals 2dx. Then divide by 2 on each side. du over 2 equals dx. The integral of cosecant u dx means du over 2, so 1 over 2, then du. Use the formula 1 over 2. I will take this one. Add an absolute value of cosecant u minus cotangent u plus c. 1 over 2 ln cosecant u was 2x plus pi over 3 minus cotangent 2x plus pi over 3 plus c. Let's compare it with the formula. The first one is ln absolute value of cosecant x minus cotangent x plus c. The second one, 2 makes 1 over 2, ln cosecant 2x plus pi over 3 minus cotangent 2x plus pi over 3 plus c. Now we have a shortcut. A makes 1 over A, ln absolute value of cosecant AX plus B minus cotangent AX plus B plus C. The second one, K makes 1 over K, then ln cosecant KX minus cotangent kx plus c. In here, the important thing is the coefficient of x. So when you see ax plus b, a makes 1 over a. When you see kx, k makes 1 over k. So don't think about the constant part. Let's try to integrate a few more questions. The first one, minus 4 makes minus 1 over 4. Then ln absolute value of cosecant minus 4x minus cotangent minus 4x plus c. The second one, in here, k equals 3. So 1 over 3 ln absolute value of cosecant pi over 4 plus 3x minus cotangent pi over 4 plus 3x plus c. Now, we have a four more basic formulas for trigonometry integrals. It's great to memorize the basic formula on the left, but memorizing the shortcut on the right will make the integration easier and faster. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.